the blue eye. That old collection of marbles leads to an exciting adventure. Why is the princess being chased? And what is the blue eye? Today I'll read a book called The Blue Eye in the Oxford Reading Tree series. This is stage 9-7 and the series is created by Robert Kunt and Alex Richter. Let's go right into it. Mum was tidying up. Biff and Wilf were helping her. They found an old case. It's quite heavy, said Wilf. I wonder what's inside it. Mum opened the case and laughed. Some of Dad's old toys, she said. They called Dad and showed him the toys. Dad laughed. Well, he said, they're not much use. Most of them are broken. I don't know why I kept them. Biff pulled a bag out of the case. What's in this bag, she asked. It's quite heavy. The bag was full of marbles. Biff tipped them out on a tray. They're all different, she said. Some of them are beautiful. Dad told Mum to throw the old toys away, but he said Biff could keep the marbles. Biff and Wolf went up to Biff's room. They looked at the marbles. What a collection, said Wolf. There are all sorts, big ones and small ones. Biff picked up the biggest marble of all. See this blue one, she said. It's a beauty. Wolf put the marbles back in the bag. Let's play with them outside, he said. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. Oh no, said Biff. I don't want the key to glow. I don't want a magic adventure. I want to play with the marbles. The magic took them to a town. They were in a narrow street. The houses were close together. I wonder where we are, said Biff. I don't know, said Wolf, but I don't like this place. It's scary. Suddenly, some men ran down the street. They were shouting and yelling. Biff and Wolf hid in a doorway. The men kicked open a door. They ran inside one of the houses. I told you this place was scary, said Wolf. A window opened upstairs. A woman climbed out. Then she jumped. She landed on an awning. She slid down it and dropped into the street. The men looked out of the window. They shouted as the woman ran away. The men ran out of the house and chased after the woman. They didn't see Biff and Wolf. Why are they chasing the woman? asked Biff. Wolf saw a little package lying in the street. He picked it up. She dropped it, he said. Wolf undid the package. Inside was a round blue stone. It glowed as if it was on fire. Biff gasped. It's beautiful, she said. But what shall we do with it? We can't keep it. No, said Wolf. Come on. We must find the woman and give it back. At the end of the street was a market. It looked very busy. There were so many stalls, said Wolf, and so many people. Let's stay together, said Biff. The people don't seem very friendly. They looked around the market. The stalls had strange things. Biff and Wolf had never seen things like them. Look, there's a snake charmer, said Biff. Biff and Wolf looked for the woman, but they couldn't see her. Then someone pulled Biff's arm. Biff looked round and saw a man in a cloak. He looked very strange. Biff looked again. It was now the man. It was the woman who had jumped out of the window. Who are you? asked Biff. I am Princess Aisha. If you have found a blue stone, you are in danger, said the woman. The stone belongs to my father, she went on. It was stolen from my kingdom. I came here to get it back. The stone is called the blue eye, said Princess Aisha. Without it, I can't become queen. I cannot become queen. Suddenly, there was a shout. Some men began to run towards them. Quick, run, said Princess Aisha. These men are dangerous. They sprinted down the narrow streets. The men chased after them. Come on, called Princess Aisha. Go as fast as you can. Suddenly, they thought of the bag of marbles. It gave her an idea. One man was catching them up. Biff threw some marbles along the ground. The man slipped on them and went crashing down. The other men fell over him in a heap. Bill Dunn called Princess Aisha, but I but keep running. They raced down the narrow streets and little alleys. Suddenly Princess Aisha gasped. It's a dead end. We're trapped. The men were very close to them. Biff held up the big blue marble. It was the same size as the blue eye. You can have the blue eye, she shouted. She drew the marble. It flew into the air. The men dived to catch it. Quick, yelled Biff, run. At first they thought Biff's trick had fooled the men, but they began to chase them again. 
The blue marble didn't fool them for long, panted Wolf. Come on, called Princess Aisha. Get on this motorbike. The motorbike roared away. Princess Aisha drove towards some gates. Oh no, shouted Biff. Someone is closing the gates. Hold on tight, yelled Princess Aisha, and close your eyes. The gates were almost shut. There was only a little gap left. Here goes, called Princess Aisha. Suddenly, she tilted the motorbike onto its side. Oh, help, shouted Wolf. The motorbike just got through the gap. We made it, shouted Wolf. The motorbike sped along the road. After a few miles, Biff looked up the ground. There was a jeep behind them. Oh no, said Biff. They are chasing us again. The motorbike roared past a lorry. The lorry had a big load of hay. Hang on, shouted Princess Aisha. She slowed down. Then she cut a rope on the side of the lorry. All the hay fell out. The hay spilled into the road. Most of it landed in the jeep. It covered the men. Brilliant, called Biff. That stopped them. Princess Aisha pointed to an airplane. That's not, there's my plane, she said. I hope I can start it. They jumped off the motorbike and climbed into the airplane. Get in the front, said Princess Aisha. I'll try to start the engine. The plane began to move. Be quick, cried Biff. They're coming again. The men drove towards the plane. They tried to block his path. Hold on to your seats, called Princess Aisha. The plane took off. The men ducked as it flew t over them. Away, said Princess Aisha. You're safe. Princess Aisha pointed. Look down there, she called. That is my kingdom. Wolf didn't look. He had his eyes closed. I don't like flying, he said. It's time to land, called Princess Aisha. Don't tell me, said Wolf. I don't like landing. People ran to meet Princess Aisha. Have you brought back the blue eye, they called. These children helped me, she said. They were very brave. Everyone cheered. The king arranged a big feast. Princess Aisha put on special clothes. She had the blue eye in her turban. Biff and Wolf gasped when they saw her. The princess looks beautiful, said Biff. Now I have the blue eye back, I can become queen, she said. The key began to glow. It was time for the adventure to end. Goodbye, said Biff. This was an exciting adventure. Biff and Wolf were sorry the adventure was over. Well, said Biff, let's go outside and play with the marbles. She looked in the back. Oh no, she said. There were only four left. That was the book I read and thank you for watching. I hope I can see you in the next one.